Ever felt like your brain operates on a different frequency than everyone else's? Like you're constantly picking up on things, overthinking situations, and maybe even feeling a little sad about life sometimes. If you've answered yes, then here's the thing. You're probably a deeply intelligent person. And today I wanna unpack this idea with you so you can perhaps better understand what you're going through. Now, before you start telling yourself that you're some sort of tortured genius, hear me out. This whole smart people suffer more thing isn't some joke to make you feel inferior. It's actually about a trade-off. See, the smarts come with a superpower and that superpower is awareness. You're more understanding of the world, the good, the bad, and the ugly. You see the beauty in a sunset the injustice in a headline, and the impermanence of everything. Think of it like this. Imagine you're stuck in a roller coaster. The average rider might scream and hold on tight, hands in the air, waving it like they just don't care, enjoying the thrill. But you, the super aware rider, you see the old tracks, feel the worn out bolts, and maybe even calculate the g-forces at each loop. Sure, it's intense, but it also takes away of the carefree fun, right? Have you ever watched a movie and was so moved by a particular scene that you started crying? You feel the character's pain like a punch to the gut, tears welling up because you get it. You get what they're going through. That's the deep heart part. You feel things intensely, both your own emotions and the feels of others. It's a superpower actually, but let's be honest, it comes with a vulnerability superpower too. The more you love, the more you risk getting your heart broken. Now, picture someone with both these things cranked up to 11, maximum power, a brainiac with a heart of gold. They see the world in high definition, noticing not just the sunshine and rainbows, but also the cracks in the pavement, the hurt in people's eyes. They can't ignore the suffering, the unfairness, the giant question marks hanging over humanity. It's like being handed a super powered telescope pointed at the soul of the universe. And let me tell you, the view is amazing, but also very terrifying. Think of your favorite artists the musicians or writers that you listen to, the ones who makes you feel all the emotions, who create stuff that resonates deep to your soul. Chances are they poured their large intelligence and deep heart into their work. They've experienced life, felt its joys and sorrows to the max, and then used their art to share that experience with the world. Notice how many of them also battled depression addiction or some other form of pain the very tools that made them create brilliance also made them feel things a little too intensely but here's the twist pain doesn't cancel out the beauty that mind-blowing night sky still awesome even if it makes you feel a little small the love we share even if it leads us to heartbreak totally worth it and the art born from struggle the music you listen to that you just Get the feels from. It speaks to our deepest selves, reminding us that we're not alone in this roller coaster of emotions. Pain is what makes you, you. And although the pain of intelligence might feel unbearable sometimes, it's important to remember that it's also a source of strength, compassion, and purpose. It's the fire that fuels your creativity, the compass that guides your empathy, and the reason you care so damn much about the world. And hey, if it ever gets overwhelming, remember this. Even the deepest thinkers needs rest sometimes. Take a break, laugh with friends, do something silly. Be aware of risks, but don't worry about it. Trust me, your brain needs a vacation from seriousness sometimes. After all, a well-rested, happy genius is a force to be reckoned with. So, chin up, fellow overthinker. Your intelligence is a gift, not a curse. Embrace the awareness, use it to make a difference for yourself and definitely for others. And remember, even the most complex minds deserve a good laugh and a slice of nonchalantness every now and then. I'll see you in the next one.